Um, we're really approaching this game like it's any other game. You know, ever since we've played um, our scrimmage at Northside, we've had the same mindset. We have to get 1% better every single day. And it's great to play in a conference with all this competition with 5A, 4A, 6A, even 6A schools like Carroll and Homestead because you have to approach every single day like it's going to be your last. And, um, you know, just, just like this week, we're getting 1% better every single day. We're installing a game plan. We just watched about an hour, with, an hour in film, of film of Snyder and their defense, you know. They're a really solid team. Just like any other good team in the SAC, they're going to bring it. Uh, their box is really good. You know, they have Dominic Moon. Uh, number 38 is really good off the edge, so I'm going to have to have my head on a swivel. So just approaching this game like it's any other game and uh, get the ball to my playmakers, and it'll be a fun one. Yeah, it was kind of alluded to it. What does Snyder do well defensively that you guys are going to have to counter and, and uh, make sure they don't do well on Friday against this offense of Bishop Lewis? Uh, they really fly the ball, and they're coached well. Um, I see on a lot of runs, they're flying. They're all flying to the ball. You know, not one guy staying around. Uh, they're, uh, like I said, they're coached well. Uh, they have Coach Tippman over there. He's a great coach, and uh, you know they're, they're just gonna play hard nosed football. And um, you know we have to be ready for anything. They might come out in a different defense. We don't know. We just have to be ready for uh, any any situation. And you know, our skill players against theirs. You know, it'll be a fun matchup. And uh, their defense is good all around, so we just got to be ready for anything, but it'll be a really fun one. You know, you guys have really answered the call when it's come to big games so far this year, you know, Carroll, Homestead, Dwinger. Um, what do you take away from those experiences uh, that you guys can use in another big game scenario like this where even, you know, ultimately even more is on the line when you're talking about a conference championship? Yeah, mainly in those big games, we could have put ourselves in uh, a lot better situations. Um, you know, I remember against Carroll, I threw a pick. We didn't convert on about, about three times against them. You know, we should have put about 50 points up on the board. So just small drives like that, you don't convert, uh, it really hurts you. And we had a miracle against Dwanger. I mean, we, honestly, we it could have easily lost to them. I had two picks, but, you know, Brody Glenn, Jane Hill, Antoine Lake, all those guys, they bailed me out on a lot of passes and stuff. But I just have to be poised in the pocket, step up into throws. I know my linemen will... You know, have the protection there for me because they've been working hard every single week. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just approaching this game like any other. Uh, SAC passing record, man. You, you broke it last week against Southside, correct? Yeah. Um, so what does it mean to be the all-time leader as far as the SAC goes? What was your reaction, and what does it mean to you as a, as a feather in the cap? It's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it's a cool thing, but yeah, that stuff really, really doesn't matter to me now because, you know, football is a team game. Uh, you need... You need the whole team to win a game, and I didn't break that record without my guys blocking, my guys catching, and our defense doing their job. Uh, that every, all those guys tie into that record, so uh, I don't really like to call it my record. It's just like team record, and uh, records are meant to be broken. You know, it used to be held by James. He's my coach now, and it's just really a coincidence. He's been a great coach to me, great mentor. Last year, Norm Knapke was my coach, and they've done nothing but improve my game at QB and just make me a better overall player so uh, I've been just learning every single day uh, that record was nice but I really reflect on it probably at the end of the season and we're just focused on winning the SAC and going to state this year. Yeah and actually it was Coach Lindsay's record before that so that's kind of uh, serendipitous. Uh, final question for me, uh, what, how much are you looking forward to this game? Obviously you know all eyes are upon it and you know Bishop Lures, uh it was 2014 last time you guys want to share the SAC but last time uh, outright was 2011 so 10 years. It's a long time for Bishop Lures. Um, when you take a look at that and just the magnitude of this game, what are you most looking forward to about this Friday night? Uh, this Friday, I'm, I'm just looking for a great, you know, just a great game overall. There's gonna be a lot of fans here, probably the most fans in the last decade Lures ever Lures has ever had here, and uh, this is our, really our first big game we've had at home this year. We've had you know Bishop Dwyer, Homestead, uh, Carroll. Those are all away games that we play. They're big games, so. Uh, it's going to be a fun one here, last game of the season, and uh, it's really for the bell. So uh, we're really motivated, uh, all, you know, the whole team's motivated to uh, get after it on Friday. And we're really just, pre I mean, Coach Lindsay's preaching, don't take these guys lightly. You know, they're going to bring bring it with everything they have. You know, I, I know Luke Hopper, he's been, he's my friend. He's uh, I train with him all summer, so I've seen him develop into a good quarterback. And he's a junior, he's developing. 
And throughout the season, he's been getting better and better, so we have to watch out for him. And, uh, you know, we just got to do our job in all aspects of the game, and we'll be good. Right. What's the approach of this team as you enter what is another huge game for Bishop Lewis that could, you know, determine one of the goals that you guys have set out at the beginning of the year? Oh, we got to come in and not take anything for granted. We know this is a very good team. We're also a very good team, so we just got to play good physical football and come out on top. As far as this Bishop Lewis team goes, you know, coming off a win in the clash in Calhoun, what are you guys doing well as a team that you're looking to carry over to this Friday? Um, we're doing real well in the weight room, still putting up good weight, getting stronger, and we're really conditioning, trying to stay in shape for this state run we're about to make and for this SAC championship game. What is it about Snyder that you guys have been focusing on this week? And um, defensively, what are some of the things you need to do to slow down their offense? Because it seems like, you know, the passing game for them, uh, their offense as a whole really is picking up steam as the season goes along. Um, like I said, we just can't take their skill for, for granted. Uh, obviously, stopping their big, powerful back, that's our main focus right now, stopping the run. Then we can worry about their passing game. As far as this homestead, or this homestead team, the Snyder team goes, um, you guys faced them last year. You kind of know what they're all about. What can you learn from last year's experience that you can use this time around? Uh, we learned we're not the same team as last year. We're better. We're physical. We're more physical. We're, we're stronger. We're well conditioned. Uh, this is the year we're going to compete and show teams why we deserve to be on top. Final question for me, man. What are you most looking forward to about this? It's going to be one of the biggest games you guys have played. Carson was saying you played pretty much all your big games on the road this year. Finally get to play at home for the victory bell. Like, what are you most looking forward to about Friday? I'm looking forward to fans, man. Just have a packed stadium is going to be great. Under the lights, all that is just really a dream come true, really. Appreciate it, my man. Thank you. Uh, you know, there's no sugarcoating it. We started off with a team meeting yesterday after we lifted, and, uh, you know, we told them straight up this is the biggest game of the year um, to this point. There's no, no reason to deny that or say this is a, like any other week because it's not. Um, you know, we're going to play in front of a huge home crowd. Um, you know, we know Snyder's going to bring a huge crowd, uh, probably the biggest crowd they'll play in front of and for some of them maybe in their lives um, to this point. Uh, but, yeah, there's just uh, first acknowledging that, hey, it, this, is for, this is for everything that we work for. Uh, they set this as... Uh, one of their primary goals, uh, obviously, to win a state title uh, was number one. But you know, early in the off season, uh, the seniors said, "Hey, we want to win city." And you know, as a coaching staff, we made sure they understood what that uh, really meant, what that statement meant, and what that uh, required of them and of their teammates. Uh, so um, that's been kind of the the mindset, uh, just acknowledging that uh, yeah, this is a big game. This is for everything we work for and. Um, if, we, uh, if we want to achieve this goal, um, then there's a lot of work to do. Uh, what are you really stressing in practice this week? You mean, you look at Snyder, big on the lines, they run the football pretty well, defense is always going to be pretty physical and solid. What are some of the things you're stressing to counter what they do well this week in practice? Um, you know, from a practice perspective, we've got to just continue to um, approach each day like it has been. Uh, which almost seems counter uh, to what I just said. Um, but that, this group has been really good on the practice field, in the weight room, um, during film and meeting times, um, of trying to learn from mistakes, trying to get better. Um, so first, uh, putting in the same work that we have all year in, in the offseason. Uh, secondly, you know, we uh, acknowledge exactly what Snyder brings to the table. Like you said, uh, they got a fast physical defense. Um, two of the best box players in the city, if not the two best box players in the city, and uh, Keel and uh, Moon. And then, you know, on the flip side, you got arguably, uh, I'll take Sir up there, but uh, you got two of the best running backs in the city um, squaring off. Uh, you got a very talented um, and composed junior quarterback and, and Halper. You got a big, uh, aggressive, physical offensive line. Um, you know, we got to play sound football. We got to bring our end game um, in every, every phase. Their special teams are. Uh, there's nobody better in special teams in the area uh, than Snyder on a yearly basis. So, um, you know, we, we've got to uh, just focus in uh, every rep that we get out here on the practice field, every period that we have, and uh, find ways to get better. And, uh, you know, if we do that, then give ourselves a good chance on Friday night to win, uh, win a title. In a non-Snyder-related question, I mean, Carson Clark uh, becomes the SEC's all-time leading passer this past week against Southside. Um, 
he, you know, broke James's record, who broke your record. And I imagine, let's see, you were offensive coordinator or quarterback's coach when James broke the record, which was your record. So what does it mean to kind of have all three of you on the sidelines working together and have that legacy stay within the Bishop Lures family? Oh, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I told James when I was – uh, his quarterback's coach and his coordinator, so, you know, I, records are meant to be broken. I, it's actually, you know, I think every coach um, wants to see that for, for his player, uh, regardless of who owns that record. And, yeah, I maybe previously at some point owned it. I know uh, Wazinski came along and uh, Norman Kanapke. I mean, there's Scott Stansky before me. There's been some, um, just some stud quarterbacks uh, coming through here. And, uh, you know, when you can see a young man, um, accomplish um, those feats. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, you know, records are meant to be broken. You hope, hopefully someday we got another quarterback coming through who uh, can do the same thing. Final question, as a guy who's, who's played in the Snyder Lures games and coached in the Snyder Lures games, how much are you looking forward to this coming Friday night when it's, you know, like you said, it's kind of all on the line as far as SAC championship goes? Uh, this is unique, uh, without a doubt. I, I don't know the last time the city's had a uh, "Quote unquote city championship in week nine, uh, where you got two teams uh, playing for uh, that belt, um, and obviously Carroll's in the in the mix as well. But um, that in itself makes it unique. Uh, the fact that um, there's going to be a especially large crowd, I would anticipate on Friday, um, just adds to the the level of excitement. Um, and then you know we've had some, uh, maybe not the last uh, couple years, but over the you know since." I graduated 2002. Uh, we've had some really good games. Uh, more often than not, over the last couple of decades with Snyder, uh, we were just talking in the office uh, yesterday about how some some of the heartbreakers we had uh, from 2012 through 2015. You know, we had some some teams that were right there. I think last year we talked about closing the gap uh, with these big teams, these big uh, power programs here in the city, and uh, that was our goal was to close narrow that gap. And I think week nine last year. Uh, we, I think we lost 34 to 13. I think was the final. Um, yeah, I think we felt at that time we started to close the gap. Uh, we had a very competitive game. I think we were down 14 to 13 at half. Um, so the kids should uh, they should approach this week with some confidence. Uh, while we haven't beaten them in since uh, 2011, um, this group has played with a lot of confidence all year. And um, from everything we've seen on film, we believe that uh, you know that. We're the best team in the city. I'm sure Snyder feels that way. I'm sure Carroll feels that way. Uh, you know, when you're playing at this level for a championship, you have to feel that way uh, if you can give yourself a chance. But uh, definitely very exciting and uh, looking forward to uh, kids capitalizing on a, a great week of practice. Good team.